still working, Kurt. He's still going. Welcome to Chessington World of Adventures, it's annual pass day here, which is technically the first day of the fall season, and Kurt, we are here. Yeah. We are sadly here without Cody, who is ill today, however, we're going to show you around the park, and yeah, have, get on some rides and have a good time. Now, if you want to see any construction updates from the park, be sure to check our vlog that was up earlier on in the week. This one is all about the rides, Kurt. Yeah. It's all about the rides, so we'll ignore that bit over there now, that so didn't look like that last time we were here. And we're going to head up to Wild Asia. We want to get on Code Rome. Of course, we do want to see the update, updated changes, which we know has happened up there. And you will see those as we check out the rides. Now, we did get to Vampire first, didn't we? Yeah. No running required. Absolutely. First train. No running required. First train. Not saying Second there were people the running, but there were people running. We didn't run to a 30, uh, a 32-year-old coaster. We wandered. We won the first train and we got on the first train <laughs> and then we've just been on Croc Draw, which as you can see isn't actually spinning. We are going to start on the Dodgems, Kurt, because it doesn't have a long queue. Have we been on Dodgems this year? Hmm. Uh, yeah. Have we? Have we? I think so. I'm not sure if we've been on Dodgems this year, but rest assured, that is where we're headed right now. Ready for some bumping fun? Yeah. We've got no Cody to target. Uh, we'll have to pick some other poor, unsuspecting child in the queue. <laughs> we wouldn't do that, would we? Or anyone that holds an iPad. Yeah. Or anyone that's holding an iPad. Tuck, tuck. Yeah. That's good fun, actually. It did seem it to went go on forever. <laughs> we were on there for so, so long, and um, it's not very quick, is it? No, but it, we got such a good side. It's not very really quick. We've got some nice new theme in. Will you show you some new theme in? A little market stall, a little Wild Asia sort of market stall going on. I like that. I like that indeed. Right, Cobra has a 30 minute queue. We're debating. We're debating on whether or not we want to uh, head Cobra. So there are rides closed today. Being annual pass day is kind of expected. Uh, Monkey Swinger in the background here, that's closed. Dragon's Fury's closed today, although we have seen it go round. Yeah. So it is undergoing probably staff training is what usually happens. Yeah. Now it is a bit of a pain considering Vampire is only on one train. Um, so Cusa Vampire are massive now, absolutely massive. Uh, also closed, obviously includes Sea Storm, which isn't put back together yet. But I don't think that will be ready until the new ride's ready. Um, Jungle Bus as well is closed. It looks like it's going to be closed for the year. It's a bit of a shame, and something else is closed as well. Gruffalo, Gruffalo and Tiger Rock are closed, yeah. So there's quite a lot of rides closed today, but it is nice to get back out, isn't it, and get yeah. some rides. It was lovely to get on Vampire earlier. It's warming up quite a bit as well. Yeah, and it's starting warm to warm up. Yeah, I've undone my coat now, Kurt. That's a great idea. Yeah, I know, I know. It's a great idea. Full of great ideas, mate. But we want to find some rides. We do want to get on some bits. Some things are uh, late opening. It looks like Sufari and Toon Blaster are going to be late opening, but it's just lovely to be back at the park. No fury today, Kurt. No, but it is going round and it is ready, it is working. And you just saw there the uh, train going on the track as well, which is quite rare. Right, let's head down and see if we can find some uh, slightly lighter cues in this, whilst getting a gorgeous shot of fury in the sun. <laughs> oh yeah, next week, Kurt. Next week. Here is the pirate ship, the Blue Barnacle. Well, we say nautical ship now. Hmm, what are we saying? Should we give it a ride, Kurt? Our queues are really long here. Oh, she hasn't done so long. Really got long. You got hiccups? Yeah, they're non stop. Yes, let's see. Let's Every count. Night. Let's count between. Yeah, painful, so. Let's count between. Wait for it. Wait for it. He's gonna... <laughs> there it is. One, no. two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. It's coming. I feel it coming. It's gone. It's a shock of talking about it. It's gone, isn't it? 
to get rid of hiccups. You <laughs> shock him out of him. <laughs> right, let's go do the barnacle. I'm genuinely hoping for a vampire repaint next season to go with a new area. There's a lot of bare steel. A lot of bare steel. There is test paint, so we've got hope. There is test paint, so I think the track's all right. I don't know whether this one needs retracking or not. Here it comes. Oh, I love it. Love it so much. That was Blue Barnacle. Good. Yeah, enjoyed that, didn't we? We didn't get the back row, unfortunately. We had to sit sort of in the middle. And you still got hiccups. Oh, yeah. Somehow, nice. 20 minutes later, oh my God. <laughs> still has hiccups. I'm a little bit worried. Whee! Oh, win. Off goes Vampire. 20 minutes later, Kerr. What's going on? Oh. I think what we're going to do, we're going to go and get a drink. And we're going to go see. Ah, oh, get the voucher. Where's the voucher? Oh. So, there is Merlin Money today. Was it called Merlin Money? I don't know what it's called. There was Merlin Money today on our entrance. Magic money at that. For Chesington World of Adventures to spend £5. Yeah, we got one each. Um, £5 on anything by the sounds of things. So they say. So they say, which is a, actually is a lovely gesture. It really is a nice gesture for the part to do that. And I don't mean that. I don't mean that in a sarcastic term like many people will be thinking I do. That's really, really nice because arguably we're going to now go and get a drink. And I'm telling you now, Ben and Jerry's at home. I'm going to go and get a Ben and Jerry's. So we need to get rid of your hiccups first before we go on any more rides. 100%. Let's go and do that. Look at this. This is. Oh my god. Right, we have a drink, Kurt. Uh, yeah. Have your hiccups gone? I think so. Mm, happy days. Now we're gonna walk around to Rattlesnake and also Scorpion Express wasn't open earlier to see whether or not they're open. But we may have been sucked into a may have been sucked into some purchases in the shop, Kurt. Yeah. Ah, it's always Good the way. Purchases. Good purchases. Well priced as well. Yeah, reasonably priced purchases. Right, it's good news here in Mexicana with the two roller coasters which are both currently shut, sadly. Uh, Rattlesnake has been operating today. Scorpion Express hasn't oh, yet. On. Yeah, well, let's keep walking. Let's keep walking to the next area. We missed the Elmer show. Yeah, we did. Devastated. Absolutely devastated. Now then, we are on our way to Zufari, but we thought we'd stop by the Tomb Blaster, which says it's got a 90 minute queue. However, I don't see anyone in it, Kurt. Should we go? Should we give it a bash? I'll tell you what, it says 90 minutes. Let's go give it a bash. It's about a 30 minute queue in the end for Tomb Blaster, to be honest with you. Nothing different to report or show you from um, February half term when we came in February half term. Nothing different, really. No, it's running all right. Quite happy with that. Uh, Sufari is open. As you can see, even on summer's day, Sufari doesn't usually open until sort of 11, 12 o'clock. Where's the flamingos gone? But it is open. I haven't seen the flamingos in ages. I kind of want to lean through, but I know this is electric and I'm a bit too close to it for my liking. Sufari's running at a 30 minute queue. I don't think we'll do that today. I don't think we'll do that today. I think when we've got Cody, um, it's all right. And the same reason we're not doing Jungle Rangers today because we don't have Cody. Yeah, and he loves to go on and see the capybaras where we're not that bothered today. We're not that bothered today. We're not we had him here. <laughs> we had capybara love at Exmoor Zoo with some little babies. So we're quite happy. We're quite content for a while on the capybara front. And we both know that Cody's not going to watch this, so he'll never know. He'll never know we didn't do it. <laughs> so have a little wander around the zoo now, I think. See if there's any changes down in the safari area down here. Um, hello? Where was the tortoise before? He was with the capybaras. Oh no, we got to go and have a no, look now. a different one. You think? Yeah, obviously. He's just come trotting out, look. Oh, they got all their fresh veg there ready, look, on the floor. Oh yeah. I don't want to touch that fence bag, then it's really loud. Oh yeah, it's feeding time. It's feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> We've come to the raccoon stop. It's nice down here for the raccoons, isn't it? It is not it its lovely, yeah. Yeah. He's enjoying life, just chilling out. It's quite big. We just walked around the zoo a bit there. Can't nothing really to report for you, to be honest. We've looked at a few animals. We don't want to show you too many animals. They're always here. We get to see them all year round, which is really, really nice. So we're going to head back now and check the uh, queue times and just sort of sense them because the app 
and some of the boards are, are showing obviously more cues than what there actually is yeah. so we just want to get to a few rides and sense them hoping we can catch rattlesnake on reopening so we can get on that yeah we're wrapping it up but we've still got some rides in us Kurt yeah still got some rides in us Ben and Jerry's is open however one or two scoops now Kurt so we've gone from doing Sundays to not doing Sundays to having three scoops to doing only two scoops. No polar bears. No polar bears. However, I mean, it is Ben and Jerry's. And we know how we feel about that in the channel. That's it. That's our adventure to Chesington World of Adventures for annual pass day 2022. It is a day we usually avoid at all costs. Um, mainly because it, it, it feels like a test day, which isn't a bad thing for the park. It allows them to get new staff trained, it allows them to get the rides running before opening. And, um, but we've had a really good day, Kurt, in yeah, fairness. We have had a really good day today. Uh, we got on the first public vampire train of 2022. We, we didn't rush, we took a walk down there and that's where we got to. Um, we've done uh, Tomb Blaster, we've done Blue Barnacle. <coughs> uh, we queued, what else we queued for? Croc Drop. I went up to Wild Asia, we did Tuck Tuck Thermal. Uh, we didn't get on Cobra in the end, unfortunately, or Rattlesnake, which we did want to get on. But of course, the park will be open fully in less than a week's time. So yeah, really good day here at Chesington. We were aware before we came which rides would be closed as well. They did publish that on their website. And everything else has been a little bit up and down throughout the day, but generally, it's running really well. I think it's been good. Yeah, it good. It's been lovely to get back to the park. It's been lovely as well to get some retro merchandise it's about time chesington did the retro merchandise the other parks have been doing it for quite a long time now we will be back when the park fully opens with a slightly longer vlog hopefully including the little one as well from chesington world of adventures i really hope you've enjoyed this this is uk theme parks and we'll see you next time